Krabi, in our opinion, is the best of tourist Thailand. By that, I mean it's most certainly on the beaten path, but for good reason, as it has stunning natural beauty, great day trips to explore, whilst also still having a good nightlife with lots of bars and restaurants. We're Jack and Jordan, and we help people plan their trips to Southeast Asia. If you need personalized assistance planning your trip, please get in touch with us through our website, jj-adventures.online. In this video, we are going to show you the best things to do in Krabi, Southern Thailand. I wanna start with probably my favorite experience in Krabi, the Four Islands Tour. You come to Krabi for the beautiful tropical beaches, right? The Four Island Tour is in our opinion, the best way to experience that. You'll start your day from Ao Nang Beach, where you'll get picked up by a long tail boat. From here, it's about a 20 minute ride to the first stop, which is Koto. Koto is the smallest island on the trip, famous for its white sandbar. From here, you can walk over to Chicken Island at low tide. At the time we visited, the tide wasn't quite low enough to walk across without getting wet. However, as you can still see, we were able to walk across it. The next stop was to the other side of Chicken Island for snorkeling. This is definitely one of the better snorkeling spots that we've visited in Thailand with lots of colorful fish in the relatively shallow waters. The third stop is another 15 minute ride away and it's Kopoda. This island is responsible for one of the most iconic landmarks of Krabi, the towering rock face jutting out of the Andaman Sea. This is also where we stopped for lunch and we had plenty of time to swim in the sea. As you can see, the waters were crystal clear here and the temperature was absolutely perfect. This was our favorite island of the day. The only disappointing aspect of the tour was that the final island wasn't actually an island. It's part of the Riley Beach area, so it would be quite easily accessible without having to do a boat tour. The beach that they take you to is Pranong Beach, which is still a beautiful beach, and we'll talk more about this beach later in the video when discussing Riley. So, like we said, this is our favorite activity in Krabi. There are two other island hopping tours to consider, and they are the Hong Island Tour and the PP Island Tour. We would still recommend the four islands, because for Hong Island, it's just one island, albeit a much bigger one with a beautiful lagoon. And the PP Islands are a considerable distance away, taking over an hour to get there. If possible, we'd recommend staying a few days on PP Island and doing the boat trip from there. Probably the best place to stay in Krabi is Ao Nong. Ao Nong Beach is known for its stunning natural beauty. The beach is framed by dramatic limestone cliffs and lush greenery at either end. The water here is usually the perfect temperature for swimming, although you will need to be careful of the long tail boats that are constantly coming and going from the beach. The majority of hotels are located in Ao Nong town, which is right next to the beach. Hotels accommodate every budget, with everything from backpacker hostels to five-star hotels. The beach has one of the best sunsets in Thailand, as the beach takes on a beautiful orange glow. After sunset, there is still a lot going on, as Ao Nong Town has lots of restaurants and bars to explore. One of the best places to grab some Thai food is Ao Nang Night Market. Whereas a lot of Ao Nang restaurants cater to foreign tastes, the night market focuses on authentic Thai cuisine and street food, especially seafood. It's also a cool place to grab a beer and buy souvenirs. The Blue Dragon Cabaret Show is a ladyboy cabaret show featuring a number of talented performers. The show is about an hour long and there are three performances each night. During the show, the ladies sing and dance to a number of songs from around the world. There's even a chance that you might be invited to join in the performance.
If you're enjoying this video so far, please consider giving us a like and subscribe. We also have a lot of other videos from around Thailand for you to check out too. Possibly the most iconic and famous beach in the whole of Thailand is Raleigh Beach. The beach is renowned for its stunning scenery with two towering karst cliffs at either end of the beach. The beach is about a 15 minute long tail boat ride away from Ao Nang and costs 100 baht per person one way. The area is actually not accessible by land and therefore must be accessed by boat. But don't worry, this is one of the most scenic boat rides you'll ever take. In my opinion, the colourful long tail boats only add to the beauty of the beach. If you're lucky, you may be able to see some of the dusky leaf monkeys that live in the nearby forests. On this day, a troop of about 12 monkeys began climbing the trees that line the beach. They can be identified by the white rings around their eyes, and they are much more friendly and playful than the more common macaques. It's also possible to stay on Riley Beach. The benefits are that you'll get to experience the beach without the crowds in the early morning and the evenings. The drawbacks being that there's a lot less going on in the evening as most people catch a long tail boat back to Ao Nang. And it's also a bit more expensive to stay here. There's a lot more to Riley Beach than just the main beach area though. And the next few items on the list will be about exploring its surroundings. In our opinion, Raleigh Beach Walking Street is one of the best walking streets in Thailand. It's an excellent place to grab an ice cold beer in beautiful jungle surroundings and has a good mix of Thai food and Western food. It's also an open secret that this is one of the best places to partake in some natural herbs and fungi to enhance your experience on the beach. The Riley Beach area is known for its towering cast stone cliff faces and you'll make your way between these as you walk from beach to beach. One of the most popular activities on Riley Beach is rock climbing as they have suitable routes for beginner to advanced climbers. No matter what your skill level, there are amazing views from the top. If climbing isn't your thing, you can do some inland hiking where you get great views of the mountains and cliff faces. It's also possible to explore inside these mountains at Pradang Nai Cave. The cave is located in a picturesque setting with stalactites forming intriguing formations within. The interior of the cave is dimly lit, creating an almost mystical atmosphere. Just watch out for bats that might be flying around. There are a number of other beaches to explore in the area as well, including Rele East and Tonsai Beach but our favorite beach is Pranong Beach. This beach is just as beautiful as the main beach at Raleigh, but is arguably a better place to swim because there are no long tail boats pulling in and out. At the end of the beach is another cave called Pranong. You'll find a sacred shrine dedicated to the spirit of Pranong, a legendary Thai sea princess who is believed to reside in the cave. Local fishermen and boatmen have been leaving offerings at the shrine for generations to seek protection and good fortune while at sea. Strangely, people come here to deliver large wooden penises to the princess as a symbol of fertility. There are a few bonus activities that we weren't able to personally check out when we were there, but want to mention to help you plan your trip. Wat Tam Su, a Tiger Cave temple, is a beautiful temple on top of a mountain just outside of Krabi Town. Make your way up the 1,260 steps for great views of the landscape below. 
Also near Krabby Town is the Emerald Pool, a natural lake famous for its crystal clear waters. As we previously mentioned, Hong Island is another day or half day boat trip from our now. So if you've enjoyed this video or found it useful, please give us a like and consider subscribing for more useful travel videos around Thailand. In fact, you can check out our most recent video from one of the country's most beautiful provinces, Kanchanaburi. Thanks for watching. Bye.